hello friends in this video i am going to explain how to manage the data flow run instances using OOTB activities in my previous videos i clearly explained about the data flows and how to run the data flows how to manage the run instances from the dev studio for example this is one of the data flow when i click on run right when i click on run and uh, it's a background processing i already explained about this in my previous video when you click on submit right one run instances this is called it as a data flow run instance this instance got created when you start when you click on start right then the data flow execution will be happened the data flow execution will be happened as per the data flow configuration it can perform the activity now i don't want to do it uh, from the dev studio i mean from the gui from the gui i want to do it uh, using an ootb activities i have a uh, three ootb activities uh, px uh, px start by id px start by id this is one of the ootb activity which can manages the which can run the data flow run instances which can trigger the data flow so if you want let me open this activity so just to go to the history so this activity can be used to trigger the data flow run given its id so this activity assumes that the run has already been created in case run does not exist the activity will be failed similarly if you want you can stop the data flow run you can stop the data flow run px stop by id all these are under the decision uh, pega decision engine rule set and uh, data decision ddf run options so similarly there is a one more option one more ootb activity restart restart okay you can use uh, these three ootb activities for example now in this case if i want to start this so let me use this one i don't want to click on i don't want to click on the start but the px start by id click on run okay what is the data flow run instance id df test 4002 df df uh, test uh, 4002 click on run okay success let's go back to that see this one this data flow run instance is started the data flow run instance is started currently now it is in progress now what i am going to do i want to stop it i want to stop it i don't want to click on that now i want to stop it from here df um, test 4002 click on run okay go back uh, where is this see this one it got stopped it is stopped now processor records is only 208 it is in progress it is in progress but uh, the execution has been stopped the execution has been stopped uh, that's why see the options if you want you can restart or if you want you can continue let me restart this uh, data flow run instance okay this is got stopped let me restart this one let me restart this one by using a px restart by id i don't want to click on here restart px restart by id but uh, okay uh, before that what is the click on settings uh, what is the activity or what is the functionality they have implemented on the restart button actions local action
and refresh other section local action and refresh other section these are the actions has been implemented on that restart button on that restart button let it be uh, whenever you have a time you can just explore it now let me use this activity px restart by id Okay, I think it's already opened. Let's see, go back. Refresh other section. Okay, section PJ progress area. Is there any activity is calling internally? No. So close. Now I want to use this PX restart by ID for this. Again, I am running. So each and every activity, what is the input parameter? Run instance ID. Data flow run instance ID. Test iPhone 4002. Click on run. Uh, go back. Go back and uh, run instance. See this one the data flow has been started i want to stop it from here that's a different story okay so using these activities using these activities you can manage the data flow run instances so if you can open each and every activity so there is only one java code so one java step so this is the uh, start by id this is the inbuilt, uh, I mean, you cannot see the code of this Java code because all these are the compiled code. All these are the Java compiled classes, which is present in the jar files and we cannot see this code. So, but internally the code is, ultimately this is the class, com.pega, dsm, dnode, api, data flow, data flows dot get run manager, start by id. Ultimately, this is one of the package of the Java. So people who are aware of this Java, they can understand this one, but we cannot see this implementation. Uh, the entire implementation was in the jar files. Okay, so using these three activities, you can manage the data flow run instances. I hope you understand this video. Thank you.